Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn evaluating definite integrals by substitution. Remember, usually we will take the composition with the highest degree as u. Let's look at the first example. We have the lower limit 0, the upper limit is 2 and we need to find the antiderivative for x times x square plus 1 cube. Remember, usually we will take the composition with the highest degree as u. The composition with the highest degree is x square plus 1. So u is equal to x square plus 1. du is equal to 2x dx. This one is equal to integration of x square plus 1 cube. This one is u and you have x dx. One part, another part. So this one u cube, no problem. This one x dx. We have it here. But 2 is not part of x dx. So we divide by 2. We have du over 2 is equal to x dx. So x dx is equal to du over 2. 0, 2. This one is x equal to 0, 2. So now it becomes this one u cube x dx is du over 2, 1 over 2, a constant. And then, we need to change x into u. When x is equal to 0, u is equal to, from this one, 0 square plus 1 equal to 1. So, u Instead of x, now it becomes u. 1. x is equal to 2. u is equal to 2 square plus 1. 2 square is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So the limit is u 1 to 5. This one constant. u 1 to 5. This one u cube du no more x if you still have x it means that you make a mistake so this one is 1 over 2 we integrate this the antiderivative is equal to 3 plus 1 4 divided by 4 the limit is 1 5 so if you solve this you have 1 over 2 5 power 4 over 4 minus 1 4 over 4 Put everything in bracket and punch your calculator you will get 78 okay let's look at the second example now we have to find the definite integral of sine power 5 2 x times cos 2 x limit is 0 to pi over 8 remember the unit is radian. Make sure you set your calculator to mod r. Usually we will take the composition with the highest degree as u. So in this case the composition with the highest degree is this one. One more thing that you need to remember is sine power 5 2x is actually equal to sine 2x Power 5. It's the same thing. So u in this case is sine 2x because this one has power 5. Cos power 1. So that's why we choose u equal to sine 2x. So du is equal to differentiate sine. The derivative is cos 2x. Remember, 
this is chain rule so you have 2x so now the derivative of 2x is equal to 2 don't forget the x look here you have cos 2x this one you have cos 2x that's good but you don't have 2 what you need to do is divide by 2 so du over 2 is equal to cos 2x dx so this one is equal to integration of sine 2x power 5 so it's u power 5 cos 2x dx is du over 2 du over 2 uh, because it's a constant we put it in the, in the front equal to ah don't forget this one is x equal so now it should be u equal so when x is equal to 0 from here u is equal to sine from this one 0 equal to 0 when x is equal to pi over 8 u is equal to sine 2 pi over 8 equal to sine pi over 4 and this one is equal to 1 over set 2 because you have this one this one pi over 4 well, equal so 1 1 set 2 so sine pi over 4 is 1 over the hypotenuse set 2 so this one is equal to 1 over 2 ah I forgot to put u u is equal to 0 1 over set 2 so this one is equal to 1 over 2 the antiderivative of u power 5 is u power 6 over 6 plus 1 plus 1 uh, 0 to 1 over set 2 so this one is easy I just substitute u with 1 over set 2 power 6 divided by 6 minus 0 so the answer is 1 over 96 third example remember usually we will take the composition with the highest degree as u in this case we have power 1 here and this one power 9 so the composition with the highest degree is this one u equal to x minus 3 so your du is equal to dx so this one become u power 9 this one will become du what about this one that is easy from here you have u equal to x minus 3 so now x is equal to u plus 3 you want 2x so multiply 2 here 2u plus 3 and then minus 5 so you minus 5 so everything minus 5 so 2x minus 5 is equal to 2u plus 6 minus 5 from here so 2x minus 5 equal to 2u plus 1 ah so this one is 2u plus 1 so so now we have equal to 
2u plus 1 this one is u power 9 and this one is du now we can easily expand this one 2u times u power 9 and 1 times u power 9 not like this because we have x minus 3 it's not easy to expand x minus 3 power 9 uh, don't forget the limit this one is x equal to 2 to 5 now it become u equal to x equal to 2 u equal to from here 2 minus 3 equal to minus 1 x equal to 5 u equal to 5 minus 3 equal to 2 so this one is minus 1 2 we expand we should get minus 1 2 this one u times u power 9 9 plus 1 is 10 2u power 10 plus 1 times u power 9 is u power 9 du so now everything is easy u power 11 over 11 times 2 plus u power 10 over 10 the limit is minus 1 2 if you solve this Substitute 2 into here, u power 11 and u power 10 minus, substitute minus 1 here and here. So, you should get 5, 2, 2, 3, 3 over 1, 1, 